You've tried to manifest with your thoughts. You've visualized, you've affirmed, you've repeated all the right words, but nothing big has changed. Here's what makes this frustrating. Quantum physics has proven in laboratories worldwide that your observation collapses the wave function. The double slit experiment showed that consciousness interacts with matter at the subatomic level. This isn't philosophy, it's measurable science. So if the observer effect is real, if your mind genuinely affects reality at the quantum level, why do you keep seeing small signs but not the breakthrough? You've watched little confirmations appear, a random opportunity, a strange coincidence, a moment that feels like the universe is whispering back to you. But the big shift, the real breakthrough, the thing you've been waiting for, it still feels just out of reach. And even though you believe in manifestation, even though you've seen quantum physics prove the observer effect is real, there's a quiet part of you that wonders, why isn't it working for me the way it works for everyone else? Here's the truth almost nobody tells you. Quantum physicists have measured how consciousness changes matter in controlled experiments. Your mind affecting reality isn't belief. It's documented physics. But there's one thing you're doing that blocks this quantum principle from working in your life. The moment you stop doing it, your reality begins to shift in ways you can't ignore. Most people think manifestation is about thinking, or visualizing, or repeating the right affirmations over and over again. But quantum physics reveals something deeper. Because in the double slit experiment, the observer doesn't just think about the particle, the observer's state of consciousness actually collapses the wave function. Thoughts are only the surface level of observation. Under the thought is the emotion. Under the emotion is the belief. Under the belief is the state of consciousness you are living from. And in quantum mechanics, reality responds to the observer's state, not their words. The wave function doesn't collapse because you say the right affirmation. It collapses because of what you are in that moment of observation. And here is the one thing that shuts down your quantum observer power. Trying, trying to manifest, trying to attract, trying to believe, trying to stay positive. Here's why this destroys the observer effect. In quantum physics, the observer who collapses the wave function isn't trying to see a specific outcome. They're simply observing from a state of certainty. Trying is the energy of someone who does not have. Trying is the vibration of uncertainty. And uncertainty keeps the wave function in superposition. Trying says, I want this but I don't believe it's already collapsing into my reality. And according to the observer effect, the universe mirrors that exact state back to you. Not because the universe is punishing you, but because your consciousness is literally selecting which version of reality collapses from the quantum field. Quantum physics calls this the observer effect. Reality rearranges itself based on the observer's state of consciousness, not their words, not their wishes, not their imagination. In the laboratory, when a scientist observes a particle with certainty, the wave function collapses into a definite state. When they observe with uncertainty, the particle remains in superposition, existing in multiple states at once. Your consciousness works the same way. You can say, I am abundant, but if your body is tense, your breath is shallow, and your nervous system is in fight or flight, your quantum state is broadcasting. I don't have enough. You can visualize the perfect relationship. But if your subconscious carries the frequency of unworthiness, your energetic signature says, love is unsafe. You can speak positivity all day. But if your awareness is secretly hoping, waiting, checking, wondering when things will finally change, you are observing from the state of I am still without. And here's what quantum physics shows us. The observer effect doesn't respond to what you want. It responds to what you are in the moment of observation. So when you observe your reality from a state of lack, the wave function collapses into more lack, not because the universe is punishing you, but because your consciousness is literally selecting that probability from the quantum field. 
This is the hidden reason manifestation fails, not because you didn't think the right thoughts, but because the quantum state behind those thoughts was fear, doubt, and waiting. You weren't collapsing the wave function from certainty, you were collapsing it from hope. You weren't observing as someone who already has it, you were observing as someone trying to get it. And in quantum mechanics, the observer state determines which reality becomes physical. The wave function responds to your identity as an observer, not your intention. Think about the moments manifestation worked for you in the past. The small things, a song that played at the right time, a text message from someone you were thinking about, money that showed up when you needed it most. Notice something those moments didn't come from forcing, they came from a specific observer state. You weren't trying, you were flowing, you were relaxed, you were open, your consciousness wasn't collapsing the wave function from desperation, it was collapsing it from certainty. You weren't thinking, when will it come? You simply knew something always works out for me. That quiet knowing is the quantum state of receiving. In that moment you were observing reality as someone who already has what they need, and the wave function responded by collapsing into that probability. But when it comes to the big things, the life-changing things, fear disrupts your observer state. What if it never happens? What if I'm wrong? What if everyone else gets their manifestation except me? And suddenly, you stop observing as someone who already has it, and start observing as someone waiting for it. Here's what quantum physics shows us about waiting. Waiting is an observer state of uncertainty. An uncertainty keeps the wave function in superposition, unable to collapse into your desired reality. The quantum field responds to your state of observation, not your timeline. So what must you stop doing? Stop trying. Stop chasing signs. Stop forcing positivity. Stop begging for proof. Here's what quantum physics reveals about trying. When you try, you are observing reality from the state of I do not have. And according to the observer effect, the wave function must collapse to match your observer state. Because in quantum mechanics, reality is not a mirror, it's a probability field that responds to the consciousness observing it. You don't collapse the wave function based on what you want. You collapse it based on what you are as an observer. Wanting is the observer state of absence. Having is the observer state of presence. This is why manifestations show up when you stop thinking about them. The moment you release the obsession, you return to the observer state of someone who already has what they need. Dot. You relax into certainty. You stop checking. You stop measuring time. You stop questioning the process. Your consciousness shifts from trying to collapse the wave function to observing from the reality where it's already collapsed. You become the observer who selects that probability from the quantum field, and becoming is the true language of quantum creation. There is a version of you who already lives the life you want, not in theory, in quantum superposition. In the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, all possible versions of your life exist simultaneously in the quantum field. The version of you who has what you want is not somewhere in the future. It exists right now as a probability wave. That version of you wakes up differently, breathes differently, thinks differently, responds differently. They don't wonder if something is coming. Their observer state assumes it's already collapsed into reality. Their choices are different. Their consciousness is different. Their expectations are different. And the wave function responds to their state of observation. Manifestation is not about calling something to you. It's about shifting your observer state to match the consciousness that already has it. When you change your state of observation, the wave function collapses differently. This is why the quantum field doesn't respond to trying because trying means you are still observing from the state of someone who does not have what they want. And in quantum mechanics, the observer state determines which probability becomes physical reality. Becoming is the end of trying, and the beginning of collapsing the wave function from certainty. You don't shift your observer state by forcing positive thoughts, you shift it by observing from the reality where it's already true. Instead of saying, I hope it comes, 
you observe from of course it's collapsing into my reality. Instead of asking, when will it happen? You observe from it's already on the way. Instead of checking for signs, you observe like someone who doesn't need proof, because their consciousness is certain. Because in quantum mechanics, certainty is the observer state that collapses the wave function. Not wanting, not hoping, not asking, certainty. When you reach that observer state, the quantum field responds differently. People show up, opportunities appear, reality shifts. Not because you forced it, but because you finally stopped trying to collapse the wave function and started observing from the state where it's already collapsed. So ask yourself, are you trying to manifest your desires or are you observing as someone who already has them? Because in quantum mechanics, there is a difference. One is observing from uncertainty. One is observing from certainty. One keeps the wave function in superposition. One collapses it into your desired reality and the quantum field responds to your observer state. If this message found you, it's not random. You are not watching this accidentally. You are in a consciousness transition. Your observer state is shifting and your old identity, the one that doubts, hopes, waits, and tries is beginning to dissolve right now. If you feel that shift happening, if this resonates with your consciousness, comment. I'm done trying, I'm becoming, not as a wish, not as a hope, but as a declaration of your new observer state. Because that statement alone is a change in how you observe reality. And once your observer state changes, the wave function has no choice but to collapse differently. This is not belief. This is quantum mechanics. Stop trying to force the wave function to collapse. Become the observer whose state of consciousness naturally collapses it into the reality you want. That is when mind